My name is Captain Joey Rocha from Denier Fire Department. Thank you. Uh, we're here today to do a 9-11 memorial ceremony. Um, some of the different agencies that came out today, we have Turlock Roll, Houston, Keys, Westport, Woodland Avenue, and West Stand. We also have the chaplains from our county out here. Let's give them a round of applause for coming out. Thank you guys, we appreciate it. So after the ceremony, you have the Farm and Family Festival going on until three. Over here at the fire department, we got a cornhole tournament that's gonna start at 10 a.m. There's two leagues. There's a pro league and a social league if you wanna sign up. Head to the back of the station and they'll take care of you over there. Um, we're gonna have a raffle going on all day long. We have some awesome raffle prizes. We're also uh, selling our cancer shirts for $20. We have a band weekend at Jimmy's that's gonna play from four to eight. We have our deep pit barbecue that starts at two and goes until seven. We're also gonna have face painting and we have people coming out that are gonna do balloon animals for kids and adults. That's gonna be from three to six. And we also have a bar in the back that has beer, mixed drinks, margarita machines. We also have slushies for kids and adults that don't consume alcohol. All the money that's raised is used to purchase equipment for our department and it all goes back into the community. We also give out scholarships. So we wanna thank everybody that supports us every year at the barbecue and all the different businesses. We are gonna be going around selling tickets. They're $15 each. So uh, look for our guys walking up and down the street selling tickets, or you can come over to the station and purchase tickets here. Uh, next, I wanna introduce Captain Ramirez to talk about the history of September 11th. Good morning, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go over a quick uh, history of 9-11 and some of the statistics to, that we have nowadays from that day. Uh, today we all look back to honor those who lost their lives on September 11th, 2001. On this day, 20 years ago, uh, America was changed forever. History books were rewritten and families were never the same again. Innocent people lost their lives and brave first responders sacrificed everything to make sure they saved the American lives. Nothing will fill the void in these families' lives, but with us gathering here today, we show those families we will never forget and their loved ones will always be remembered. This ceremony shows that the American spirit will never be broken. We will always show hope, faith, and reliance. Today, I want you all to remember this day forever. You may not get along with every person you meet. You may not get along with every person. You may not like every person you meet, but remember that we're all human. We all share the American dream. So let's bond together and show we're a strong nation that cannot be broken. Today, we pay tribute to their sacrifice and we mourn deeply for their nearly 3,000 precious and beautiful souls that were taken from us September 11, 2001. At the World Trade Center, 2,763 died after two planes crashed into the Twin Towers. That figure includes 343 firefighters and paramedics, 23 New York police officers, and 37 Port Authority police officers. These were the brave heroes who were struggling to complete an evacuation of the buildings and save the people trapped on the higher floors. At the Pentagon, 189 people were killed, including 64 on the American Airlines flight number 77. 
Another 44 people died on flight number 93 when they crash landed in Pennsylvania. Thousands of first responders and people working and living in the lower Manhattan near Ground Zero were exposed to toxic fumes and particles emanating from the towers as they burned and fell. By 2018, 10,000 people were diagnosed with 9-11 related cancer. Most Americans remember exactly where they were at the time of the attacks. It's hard to believe we're reflecting up on it 20 years later. Though we're, remember, we're remembering one of the worst days in American history, the ceremony celebrates the best of America. None of us will ever forget this day. Yeah, we go forward and defend freedom and all that is good. As you live and enjoy the breaths you take today, tonight, before you go to sleep and preparation for your life tomorrow, Kiss the ones you love, snuggle a little tighter, and never take a, one second of your life for granted. Thank you. Okay, next we're gonna have the raising of the flag. Our flag represents freedom liberty and justice for all and we have this nice beautiful american flag that we're going to raise up This time I want to call up Captain Stevenson for the Pledge of Allegiance. I ask that you remove your hats. I pledge allegiance to the flag. At this time, I'd like to ask Chief Lundquist to come up to ring the bell, which symbolizes the last alarm for the 343 firefighters that lost their life on 9-11. We can have a moment of silence, please.
I'd like to introduce Chief Mandela to come up for the firefighters prayer. Good morning, everyone. A firefighters prayer. When I am called to duty, God, whenever flames may rage, give me the strength to save some life, whatever be its age. Help me to embrace a little child before it's too late, or some older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and give the best in me, to guard my neighbor and protect his property. And if according to your will, I have to lose my life, please bless with your protecting hand, my children and my wife. I'd like to introduce Captain Brewer for the law enforcement prayer. Please join me in prayer. Lord, we pray for our law enforcement peace officers. We ask for them bravery to take them where others will not go. Courageous calm in the face of danger, scorn, or ridicule. Strength of body to protect others and strength, strength of spirit to lead others ethically. Dedication to their job and dedication to their community to keep it safe concern, compassion, and empathy for all they encounter. Grant them calm minds and peaceful hearts as they deal with the challenges they may face in their work. Bless them with wisdom to guide them as they seek justice, serve justice, and do justice. And please, Lord, through it all, we ask that you be there at their side and keep them safe, to watch over our peace officers and protect them with your love. Guide them as they keep us safe both day and night and hold them firmly in your care should danger come their way. Give them true strength and courage as they serve till duty's end. Bless to their families who too often share in their burdens. We ask all of this in your name, amen. I'd like to introduce chaplains Rod Flora and Tara Wise. Well, I just want to say good morning to all of you for coming out here and supporting this service. Um, today, obviously, September 11th, 2021 marks 20 years. Our nation has been mourning the loss of lives senselessly taken from us. Many headlines in the media mark this day as the 20th anniversary of the attacks of the World Trade Center Flight 93 and the aircraft that crashed into the Pentagon. Usually an anniversary is associated with something that is pleasant or happy. This is a day of mourning, remembrance and reflection for the brave men and women who gave up their lives so that many others may live. Every single one of the 343 firefighters and many more first responders. They all had futures awaiting on them. Every single one of them had a future. 
But that day they gave their lives for their fellow man. And it reminds me of the words in John's gospel. It says, no greater love than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friends. And we saw that on September 11th. The men and women that went in to, um, to save those, give of their life. And, and there's many stories of those men pointing to safety and, and hundreds of people got out because of them, but they didn't. So their sacrifice was monumental. It changed the lives of, of a lot of American families, thousands of them. So may we as Americans never ever forget the sacrifice they made while trying to rescue others. I would like to thank the Nair Fire Department for putting on such a wonderful memorial service this morning. Um, I know you have a time to to uh, clap for them. Would you guys give them just a really great hand of applause? Yeah. I want to say firsthand, uh, Tara and myself got to witness these brave men here in your community actually uh, put their lives in harm's way for um, families here in this community. What a blessing you have. These guys are great, great guys and gals. So I just want to end this uh, thought here today with just this prayer. If you'd bow your heads and we will just uh, pray. Father, after 20 years, many hearts have somewhat healed. Many hearts have found little peace as well. May God's peace be upon them as the days and years come and go. Thankful for the brave men and women in uniform that we have serving right here in our community as we seek God, as we ask for God's keeping hand and protection upon them as they continue to serve with dignity and pride to protect our communities. I would like to close this prayer this morning again with the words of Jesus in John's gospel. He says this, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I, I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. God bless each every one of you. Amen. Good morning. Um, 20 years ago, firefighters like Captain Billy Burke and Joseph Hunter reported to a call not knowing what was before them. As we honor the 343 firefighters and the first responders that lost their lives that day, I would also like to honor our local firefighters and, fi and first responders that serve our communities. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for the many sacrifices that you have made and you continue to make. You are appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. So at this time, we're going to have the national anthem. I'd like to introduce Maddie Lundquist to come up. She's going to be performing the national anthem and then all personnel who are in their uniform to come line up in front of the truck, please. And before we do that, I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, any, if we have any retired military people here, raise your hand. I think we should give you guys a round of applause. Thank you for what you've done for us. That's everything that's going on in today's world. We appreciate you guys. And I will turn it over to Matty. Oh. 
Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Awesome job. Thank you. All right, thank you everybody for coming. We appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see you at the barbecue later on today. Thank you.